A case of meningitis kills this four-year-old boy. Mason Sturm's family says it all started with a fever and headaches. Days later, the child wound up in the hospital fighting meningitis. He died on September the 6th. Now his family is working to keep his legacy alive. News for Jack's reporter Allison Henning is now joining us live with more on this story. And Allison, I understand that you spoke with Mason's mom earlier this afternoon. I did. You know, it has only been a few weeks since Erin Sturms lost her four-year-old son. She tells me that he had an undeniable sense of compassion and a heart of gold. And because of those characteristics, she and her husband have already found a way to honor his memory. At just four years old, Mason Sturms was full of life. He loved superheroes, FSU football, his little brother, and meeting new people. As soon as he would meet you, he would, you know, greet you with a high five or with a hug and just a very warm soul. Earlier this month, he came down with a fever and headaches. Doctors diagnosed him with strep throat. Days later, his condition got worse. After a trip to the ER, a spinal tap revealed the four-year-old was fighting meningitis. We thought that it was going to be, a, you know, a very uneventful one to two days in the hospital trying to figure out if it was bacterial or viral and trying to clear it up. But it didn't clear up and Mason started suffering severe seizures. Doctors had to sedate him. For several days we waited for him to wake up and, and when he didn't, the MRIs revealed that he was brain dead. In the weeks leading up to Mason's passing, his mom noticed he started collecting change around the house. When she asked him why, he said he was saving money to get toys for kids who didn't have any. That's how Superheroes for Mason came to life. It was very easy for my husband and I to decide that we were going to come up with this foundation to build a legacy for him because we just want to share that warm spirit with people. The Memorial Foundation collects superhero toys for children who are sick or in need. And if you want to get involved, you can drop off superhero toys here at Southside United Methodist Church in San Marco. If you want to give a monetary donation, we will have a link to the fund on our website, newsforjax.com. Reporting live in San Marco, Allison Henning, Channel 4, The Local Station.